That's right. Trisha Paytas and Nikocado Avocado just finally did a collaboration together. So it looks like the beef has been squashed and the drama is over. And there's so much that we need to talk about because there's so much that we can all learn from this. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take different topics going on in the community, try to see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And real quick, before I get started, for those of you who don't know, first off, follow me on Instagram. I've been trying to DM every single one of my followers and I'm having some great conversations and I love it. But anyways, I have a book sale going on. My new book about cancel culture on YouTube, the audiobook is out now. And if you get any of my other books, so if you struggle with anger management issues, with anxiety, anything like that, check out some of my other books. If you buy any of those books, you get the audiobook of Cancelled for free. All right. And this Trisha Paytas and Nikocado Avocado drama that was going on, it has a lot to do with cancel culture. I actually talk a little bit about Trisha Paytas in this book too. But anyways, I just made a video um, the other day about Trisha Paytas making her apology to Nikocado Avocado. And yeah, um, <laughs> out of nowhere, um, Trisha and Nick did a collab on another mukbang channel and they did it together. So it looks like everything is good now. So here's the thing. Here's what I want to talk about. Like something I talk about in my book canceled is I wish this stuff would happen more often, right? I wish more people would just have conversations and just get past things. Like we live in this time, especially on YouTube, where people just make these response videos and never wanna to talk to each other or anything like that. Like regardless of what anybody wants to say about Nick or about Trisha or anything like that, like the fact that these two could be mature enough to just talk and work past this is, absolutely phenomenal like when you look back at the you know James Charles situation you know with Tati and Jeffrey and things like that and every other drama that happens on YouTube it's just response video and response video and everything it's just like I wish especially I wish creators would do a better job of this just being adults and having these conversations and like I hope you guys are learning from this I hope you guys realize like this is what we should all be doing like don't just sit in silence and not talk to the other person and just hold on to these grudges and resentments. Like you guys, when we hold on to these resentments and things like that, it's not doing us any favors. It's not doing us any favors. Like sit back, sit back real quick and just think for one second, like what is beneficial? How is it helping you in any way to hang on to a grudge that you have against somebody in your life? Like how is that helping you improve or grow as a person? It's not. It's not at all, right? We need to learn how to overcome that and let things go and try to have a conversation with the other person. And this is something that, you know, I don't think many YouTubers do or are good at. Like I'm telling you guys right now, and I mentioned this in the book too, I have literally reached out to every single creator out there who has ever had a problem with me. And if I'm being honest with you, None of them have gotten back to me. The only one who had a conversation with me was Bobby Burns. And Bobby Burns and I, we had a conversation through DMs on Instagram. We talked things out. You know, we were like, okay, you know, I don't, you know, uh, I don't hate you. You don't hate me. We just disagree on some things, you know, whatever it is. And I've tried to have that conversation with other YouTubers. Like, that's just the way, you know, when I started working on my mental health, like, this is just what I have to do. I have to have conversations with people because I can't hold on to these grudges. And here's the thing. Like, when we read reach out to people and we try to like squash the beef or you know move past things they might not always be receptive of it you know so like I you know I don't hold a grudge like if people don't want to reply to me if they don't want to have a conversation like that's cool by me like at least I can go to sleep at night knowing that I put in the effort so anyways <laughs> real quick I'm gonna tell you a secret just just between you and me after I saw Trisha Paytas and Nick do this video together I actually sent Trisha Paytas a DM on Instagram I was like hey you know now that you did this with Nick how about me and you we we moved past this let's have a conversation and she left me on red 
Trisha, you left me on red. But anyways, um, hopefully like, you know, Trisha and I can talk at some point. But yeah, I don't, <laughs> I've never had a problem with Trisha. You know, obviously I do commentary and I try to see what lessons we can learn from it. But I think Trisha does have a good heart. You know what I mean? The next thing I wanna talk about is I think it's really sad because if you look at when this controversy happened between Nikocado Avocado and Trisha Paytas, how many people were making videos about this, the drama community was making videos about this, how I made videos about this, PewDiePie made a video about this, you know, Spill did like a multiple part series about this. And here's the thing that saddens me. Nobody's gonna cover this. Like no, nobody is going to make follow-up videos and saying, hey, look at this positive thing. Look at how these two creators are getting past this and trying to be a better influence for other creators and for the community. Nobody is going to make videos about it. You know what I mean? And that's what bums me out. Like unless, unless other channels who do commentary or drama think that there's some kind of negative angle they could take on this, like this is all fake, you won't see anybody make videos about this. I want you to think about that for a second. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. I'm all for like critical videos and calling people out and you know, on certain behaviors and things like that because I'm always thinking about the example of setting for the audience. But like, I really want you to think about how many creators turn around and then do a, a positive follow-up and say, oh, okay, look, these two creators are doing something positive now. You don't really see it, right? So the last thing I wanna talk about, obviously, is Everybody saying that this is fake. Not not everybody, a lot of people saying this is fake. And how can I say this without getting in trouble? This isn't fake. I know some stuff behind the scenes that I can't talk about, but this, their beef was not fake. Like, here's what I keep trying to teach people, okay? And like, it's something I learned about earlier this year when I was reading this awesome book. Um, it's called Hanlon's Razor, okay? And it says, don't attribute to malice, which could easily be attributed to like stupidity or ignorance, right? Like, we always think that people have these terrible intentions. So like for anybody saying this whole Trisha Paytas and Nikocado Avocado drama was fake, like I wanna say really, really like no offense to Trisha or Nick, but you guys give people way too much credit. Like for example, I remember last year when TanaCon happened and that disaster went down and thousands of people were stuck outside in the scorching sun and this whole, you know, uh, event just crashed and burned. I remember the conspiracies going around that Tana actually planned for this to fail so everybody would talk about her and like, you guys, really? Really? Like, have you seen any Tana Mojo videos, you really think that she is this mastermind? <laughs> like, does that make more sense? Or does it make more sense that a 20 year old girl thought she was gonna throw a convention with another young dude, Michael Weiss, and the whole thing just failed? All right, you give people way too much credit. So when you're looking at this Nikocado Avocado and Trisha Paytas situation and thinking that it's fake, like I just have to ask you again, like, really? Like I know they've both made, you know, some trolling videos and things like that, but like I said, I also know for a fact that it wasn't fake. But I think that also says a lot about the current climate, not even just on YouTube, but in our society as well. Like for most of you, like, and, mo and sometimes me too, right? Like we think it's more believable that these two created this entire internet drama and beef and this has been part of some like two year plan. You know, Nick's gonna move out to LA and this is gonna be huge and right before he moves out, right? Like we, we're more likely to believe that type of conspiracy than that two adults tried to be mature, have a conversation and move past something. Like, do you see what I mean? Do you see how weird that is? Do you see how weird it is that you would much rather believe a conspiracy that this was all fake than <laughs> to believe that two people were able to just resolve their issues and move past it? Like, that's super sad, dude. Like, that is very, very sad. And what's interesting too, is like I just did an interview with um, The Verge about the Tana Mojo and Jake Paul, you know, quote unquote wedding. And this is something where, you know, YouTube's kind of evolving where like even the audience doesn't know 
what's real and what's fake anymore. You know what I mean? And that's that's a weird, weird thing, like with the way the platform's evolving because YouTube used to be this place where like it was built off of authenticity and everything like that. And now you, the viewer, everything you watch, you have to wonder, is this person real? Are they authentic? Is this fake? Is this situation fake? You know what I mean? Especially when you have, you know, some people in the beauty, um, niche on YouTube who have leaked certain things to get the drama going in, to get their name in people's mouths and stuff like that. You know, we're living in this really interesting time. But anyways, I really hope, like, no matter what the case is, like, even if you watch a, a fictional movie, like, I want you guys to think about what life lessons you can learn from it. And from this situation, I want you to see Trisha Paytas and Nick Nikocado Avocado being adults, setting aside their differences, moving forward, and letting things go, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. And don't forget, check out my website, www.therewiredsoul.com. Get any of my books, the ebook or audiobook, and you will get my new book, Canceled, inside YouTube Cancel Culture, the audiobook or ebook for free. How sweet is that? All right, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And a huge thank you to everybody who has already got your copy of Cancelled and my other books. That's awesome. And thanks for everybody who's been replying to me on Instagram and having conversations. It's been a great weekend. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.